Welcome back to another committee reads. This time we are reading match 17, Gigan Millennium versus Dagara. I found it. I found it. Shh. By Thomas Singleton. The sun had vanished from the heavens. Darkness had fallen upon the land, robbing it of its precious light. Amid the surrounding obscurity, a towering figure stood motionless. Sharp, jagged spines obtruded out of its backside. Obtruded? Is that an actual word? Or Yes. Okay. Green scales encased its exterior. Wait. Green scales? Again. We'll get to, get to that later. Encased its <laughs> exterior. Its powerful paw... Oh, wait. Wrong monster. Don't. Its powerful paws guarded a scarlet staircase, which concealed a deserted elevator. From the distance, from the distance, the gargantuan object resembled a mighty creature cursed to walk the planet alone, forever feared by its life forms. But up close, its appearance, its appearances were deceiving. Were deceiving. Uh, it was an artificial statue designed to resemble Godzilla. Barbara Streisand. This. <laughs> To nearby travelers, it was coined the Godzilla Tower. Oh. Okay. Godzilla, Godzilla Tower's lifeless stare surveyed the abandoned ruins of the world children's land. Facilities secretly designed to strip humanity of its dominion over the planet had become harvested by vermin and insects. Within the inanimate cranium of the Godzilla Tower, the abandoned headquarters of the Nebulant remained suspended in time. Power no longer coursed through the electronic circuits. Spider webs hung from the ceiling panels and ensnared the walls. Alternate reality where Godzilla didn't destroy it, I guess. A computer monitor rested the cubicle's flat, dusty surface. On the screen, a red, bleeping light frequently glowed. Beneath layers of hard, for fortified floors, a hidden machine of alien origins offered the, the last bit of backup power it had left. Beyond the boundaries of the Godzilla Tower, video cameras digitally linked observed the desolate area. A strange object soared over the skies. Its trajectory was on course with the world, world children's land. Pass. All power to the engines. Pass. Up to the camera spotted the, the camera spotted the object and relayed its recordings to the computer monitor. A maximized image of the object uh, uh, took up the screen, revealing its distinguishing features. You know, I can't see the screen. Can you move? Thank you. Emerald flesh coated its body. Yellowish scales resided on several different areas of the creature's massive figure. Thin layers of skin struck out of the tips of its of its limbs, designed to assist it in uh, its underwater adventures and aerial fights. Plates. Amber glowing uh, cornea sparked out of its eyes. Large reptilian wings attached to its sides, flapped without any sign of fatigue. Sharp fins jutted down its spine and tail. Three horns crowned the top of its skull, residing in its struck sh uh, shoulders. Empty holes eerily awaited the chance to deploy its deadly arsenal. A loud, thundering roar rumbled out of Dagara's gaping maw. In its ancient gaze glared at the Godzilla Tower, deeming it a threat. Primordial energies crackled inside Dagora's throat. Dagora's body channeled its demonic power to its jaws. Searing torrents of lavender-hued energy blazed out of Dagora's mouth, striking the Godzilla Tower's lifeless chest. It wow, it's gone senile. <laughs> <laughs> it ruptured the staircase and impaled the central cortex of the structure. Plumes of fire and smoke replaced the Godzilla Tower's immobile figure. The disfigured head of the Godzilla Tower struck the ground, signifying its destruction. Dagara's victorious cries filled the skies and bounced off the earthly terrains. Terrains? Yeah, terrains. Uh, the sea dragon descended from the dark sky and landed on the soil. Dagara, cu Dagara curiously observed the abandoned facilities, deeming them a threat. Pulsing energies of light flared within Dagara's mammoth jaws. But before Dagara could unleash its fury, a cybernetic howl filled, filled its ears with dread. Pass. Justin Don't... Bieber. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, that, that actually brings Baby, me back. baby, baby, <laughs> no! Wait. Okay, shutting up. Fuck you, that actually brings back bad memories. Banner, quiet and cool. <laughs> yeah, so, Banner, I, I, I don't do that, Banner, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm not into that. <laughs> uh, 
I'll sit here silently until you apologize. Level it shape. Apology accepted. Now let's move it. <laughs> the malevolent shape of an alien cyborg filled Dagora's binocular vision. It crash landed in the ground, forcing the soil to rise above its ankles and break away. Crimson light emanated out of its singular eye. A harsh synthetic beak strode out of its mouth. <laughs> Walk right. Walked right out. <laughs> yep. I didn't know cybernetic or synthetic beaks could walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they can. Just very carefully, like right on the tail. <laughs> like you have to. They, they, what they do is they kind of shift their lo the lower beak, so it could kind of direct like from side to side, so it kind of drags itself along. Okay, cool. Keep reading. Uh, <laughs> surrounded by razor sharp pinchers, Horn resided on top of its head in, on the penthouse. Long metallic blades stretched out of its wrists. Sapphire coated arm. Um, uh, Banner, you're 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 cutting off. Oh gosh, I think my internet might have crashed. <laughs> The malevolent shape, the malevolent, the malevolent shape of an alien cyborg filled dag dag diagonal, Dagora's binocular vision. It crash landed on into the ground, forcing the soil to rise above its ankles and break away. Crimson light emanated out of a si its singular eye. A harsh synthetic beak strode out of its mouth, surrounded by razor sharp, razor sharp, razor sharp pincers. Again. It just walked out <laughs> with its entourage. <laughs> Walking out with my entourage. Da da da. I'm a beak. <laughs> Alright, Clay, and keep reading. <laughs> a horn resided on top of it. It bought the penthouse for a million space bucks. Long metallic blades stretched out of its wrists. Sapphire coated armor. Dark and gritty. Oh, the edge. <laughs> the edge, pad the edge. <laughs> this is legitimately just damn giveaway. Covered its body. Extending saw blades resided down its sternum. Oh, multiple. I didn't realize it had multiple saw blades. Three wings. They're more like fins, really, but whatever. Equally swathed by scarlet color. I just it out of its backside. In... Mr. Singleton, you realize backside is... The backside is the ass, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that. He does, does now. now. Yeah. Ass wings. <laughs> ass wings. I'm just gonna draw this guy again after this, okay? Oh, that'd be okay? great. I, right. I will. I, <laughs> this perversion of a guy again. <laughs> All right, just keep it. At the tip of its tail, a scythe blade swung steadily. Crackling flames glinted off a guy again. Really? <laughs> Bad imitation. Bad okay, you, you, you just raped our ears, seriously. <laughs> you just Sorry. raped them. Sorry. Dagger at embraced Gigan's unnerful stare. Never before had the sea dragon seen such a center of ruthlessness. That's why I like Gigan's movements. Dagger sent the cyborg to fall into of its world and its inhabitants. Dagger envied Gigan's cruelty, wishing he could captivate such a demeanor. But Gigan ignored Dagger's envious feelings. The Aww. cyborg. He just wanted to send by to notice him. <laughs> the cyborg continued it. Considered it. Not continued it. Um. <laughs> considered it a carcass waiting to be exterminated. Without any further delay. Gigan attacked. Gigan singular orb. I. It. It's not even orb shaped. I it, think it's, it's like a. 
I don't know, I think it's talking about the forehead. Oh yeah, I guess so, but still. And even then, it's coming out of the wrong spot for Millennium Gigan. Yeah. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> it's singular orb, and plus the eye, Gigan's eye isn't even orb shaped. It's like a mouth shape. It's like the shape of its mouth. Oh shoot! I I I closed I closed the window accidentally. Gosh darn it! Uh, you had one job. <laughs> it stopped hundreds of yards in front of Dagger. It is first in a shower of exploding beams. The explosion sinks Dagger's si sacred side. Sacred side? Sinked sacred side? Sacred. Singed Dagger's sacred side. What, what does that mean? Side. I mean, I don't recall Dagar. <laughs> I, I guess it has a... I guess it's I, to make Dagara more mythical, but even then, I don't ever recall him being considered a deity. Sacred a Hide? Oh, for, <laughs> Sacred Hide, okay. Um. Remember, Legion hates hates other uh, mythical beings. She's a bigoted Christian. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's the head cannon. Wait, who? Legion. What now? It makes sense in match uh, 15, so. Uh, you weren't there. Say the sentence. Wait, say the sentence again, Alex. Legion is a bigoted Christian. Oh, because she crucified Descadora. <laughs> Believe me, it, it, just just watch the video when it comes out. It'll make sense. <laughs> wait, wait. Then wait, wouldn't that make her a Roman? Keep no. <laughs> Smoke filtered out of its sizzling skin. Dagaras. Horrible scream screeched across the land. No longer feeling a sense of envy, Dagger retaliated. Love, love you, be pouring out of Dagger's mouth and Ravage got each shoulder. Ravage, huh? <laughs> Dagger's energetic project. Oh my god! <laughs> He's he's gone back to he's it's gone back to G G G Holds of innuendo again. It's it, it's like it's like Batman and Robin all over again with all the imagery. Uh, hmm. managed to oh managed to penetrate. <laughs> The outer hall of Gigan's arm. Um, yeah. De definitely not sexual in any way. No. A curtain of sparks covered Gigan's shoulder, temporarily concealing the damage it's caused. Vengeance lurks within Gigan's cybernetic mind. Gigan raised one of its metallic blades. Grappling hooks were mounted to its wrists. One set tore out its of its compartments and tangle itself around Dagger's throat. The other wrapped around Dagger's abdomen. Dagger attempted to break free, but not even Dagger's powerful jaws could mutilate the cables. Shrouded in between Gagan's wings, rocket boosters sparkled, sparkled to life. Oh, so it's magic. <laughs> they manipulated the gravity and propelled Gagan upwards. Rocket doesn't... Rockets don't manipulate gravity, per se. The same. Yeah, Gagan right. ascended high above the clouds. Dagger was forcefully removed from the ground. He, whatever. He hung from the cables, hundreds of feet above the earth. Gagan fiendishly skimmed the air, twirling Dagger around in circles. The air was cut off from Dagger's lungs. Dagger's eyes rolled up in their sockets. Unable to adapt to the unbearable conditions and forced into finally guiding grappling cables to from the arms that were helpless. He felt the blood and emotion and abandoned facility shards. The story structure flew out of the air and made the environment pass. World's fastest sentence reading. All right. Oh, wow, finally I get to go. Yes, go, GVJ, go. Noticing its foe was immobile, Gigan abandoned its flight plans and made its descent. Gigan landed near the fallen Dagara. Determined to escort the sea dragon to death's domain, but as Gigan ventured closer, 
Degara emerged from the rubble, a crimson wave of energy shimmered around Degara's figure to Gigan's dismay. Degara rapidly twirled around in circles, its body deploying energy disc. Every second, every energy disc clashed into Gigan, inflicting burn marks in its dense armor. Ignoring the damages, Gigan marched forward, determined to mutilate the sea dragon with its blades. Realizing the ineffectiveness of his attack, Degara's rotating from form seas. Degara examined his synthetic foe, contemplating on how he could overcome it. Gigan stopped several hundred meters away. A crimson beam shot out of its glowing eye, releasing a swarm of cluster rays. The rays singed Degara's burnt hide, and Agni Growl departed Degara's mother. Gigan really stuck it in the wrong, wrong hole this time, causing him to bleed. And yet, the sea dragon's yellow-hued eyes glazed with a vengeful premise. Gigan's cold, hypnotic stare failed to offer any merit. Degara's emotions. Instead, Gigan resumed its stride and fell upon Degara. Damn. The cyborg's razor-shaped blades grazed the air, narrowly avoiding Degara's cranium. A shimmering streak of energy shot out of Degara's jaws, detonating over Gigan's thick sternum. Degara's destructive projectile failed to inflict several severe injuries, but it succeeded in blowing off chunks of Gigan's metallic skin. Gigan retaliated by swiping Degar's shoulder. Blood sprayed out of Degar's spread wound, fresh wounds staining the soil beneath their feet. Degar unleashed another devastating beam, a pulverized Gigan's synthetic carapace, yet the dense armor remained intact. Degar instinctively sought to sink its teeth into Gigan's throat. Ooh, a hickey! The sea dragon obeyed its ambition and stood upon its hind legs. Degar jumped forward, clamping its teeth around Gigan's throat. Degar's fruitless attack would not go unpunished. Despite its appearance, Gigan had no reason to breathe oxygen, so he likes to choke himself. Not even Degar's powerful jaws could crush the outer hull of Gigan's neck. It was then that Degar heard an unusual yet frightened sound. Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> the strip of saws attached to Gigan's sternum was to activate the shred of Degar's underbelly, rapidly removing the f- layers of fresh flesh and bone. Hold on a second. Flesh and bone that shield Degar's internal organs. Degar Howard painfully as its intestines and body or bodily organs were ripped away, forced to reveal themselves to the outside world. They succumbed to Gigan's chainsaws and were intentionally discarded into the wind. Gigan barely placed its left arm against Degar's throat and augmented enough strength to crack Degar's entire upper body back. With Degar's chest exposed, Gigan pulled its right blade and plunged it forward, sinking it deep into Degar's sternum. The blade poked out of Degar's backside <laughs> ass. Seriously, yep. he stuck a chainsaw up his ass. <laughs> my, my computer's about to die again, God damn it! <laughs> Language, yeah. young man. Acknowledging <laughs> the length of the blade and the damage it inflicted, it fractured the, Degar's spine. The length of the blade? Oh, that's, that's oh, not gosh. as much at all. Now knowing what backside <laughs> means, oh no. What, yeah, well, I think uh, I think Degar likes it likes it when sharp objects are stuck up in there. <laughs> uh, Grisha, are you still there? Well, well, it, it it's no surprise I'm that mean, I just muted that, my mic. That we didn't hear of any uh, after said, effects. Oh, okay. That Singleton is basically the Joel Schumacher of uh, of KWC matches thus far. Yeah, it I mean, re- I mean, really, it, it's I, no, it, it's no surprise that Schumacher is the reason for the nipples. Uh, it fractured Degar's <laughs> spine, cutting off all sensation. Aw, poor guy can't get an erection to its <laughs> low <laughs> body. Life was rapidly dwindling from, dwindling from Degar's eyes. Gigan, with the sport of its right arm, kept Degar steady for one final swipe. The cyborg prepared to decapitate, decapitate Degar's head with its one metallic blade, but Degar refused to die without giving Gigan a painful memory of him. A breakup. Blazing torrents of light seared out of Degar's mouth, striking Gigan's singular eye. It failed to withstand the beam's sheer force and transformed into a shower of broken shards. Oh, I didn't know they liked to shower together. <laughs> They're shower buddies. Gigan released a frightening high-pitched screech. Degar 
put his mouth in the wrong hole again. Informing the world of its reported injury, Scarlet Bolts attempted to conjure Gigan's cluster beam, but the energy particles malfunctioned and faded from existence. Gigan was one now in, blind. One in five. Unable to decipher its surroundings, but it still had to guard trapped. The sea dragon tried to wiggle itself free, but the blade forced to guard to seek a different plane. Gigan fiercely swiped the air, failing to strike its intended target. Gigan is alright. Uh, actually, it's alright if I can finish this off. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, go ahead. Okay. Gigan's mounting impatience reached its limit. Limits. The cyborg stopped and raised Dagara in the air, and blindly aimed its left blade. Dagara realized the trajectory of the blade was aiming directly at his skull. The other side. Gigan paused, realized that it had found its target. The ruthless cyborg not only desired the sea dragon's imminent demise, but also the realization of oblivion. Dagara's weary eyes scanned the distant horizon. Dark clouds hovered above the earth, preventing its inhabitants from seeing the stars. A bolt of lightning singed the sky, temporarily bathing the land in its beauty. It was then that Dagara, a sea dragon that had once sought to contaminate the oceans with the, its barum and eradicate every life form, repented its demonic desires. Dagara closed its eyes, accepting death. Gigan fulfilled the sea dragon's inclination and hurled its metallic blade into Dagara's skull. Dagara died instantly, no longer destined to return to the seas it once roamed. Thunder bellowed from the, from the distance. Gigan's horrific cries of conquest subdued the thunder, notifying the world of its triumph. Gigan dreamt of bringing chaos to the rest of the world, but until then, it would have to wait until its cybernetic body finished repairing the damages. Thus, Gigan decided to toy around with its latest trophy, eager to dissect it and learn of the anatomy of Earth's creatures. Winner, Gigan. So he's gonna play with himself. <laughs> Now he's gonna play play with this new toy. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Well, technically it's not his food, so I guess it's okay. So, yeah. Anyway, this match, I mean, it's like it kind of. I could kind of see a little bit of the Godzilla versus Gamma elements in it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but I don't think it's as bad compared to that. <laughs> But other than that, yeah, I mean, it's like it was yeah. solid. I mean, when you get Gigan and two blades, I think it's inevitable. And plus, the usage of backside now, me, now knowing that means your butt is like okay. That's really awkward. <laughs> the only yeah, Takara thing... must have really licked the wrong hole. <laughs> oh God! Uh, and any the other note I'll have for this is. If you guys noticed, Dagarla or Dagar, I, I hate this. I hate this monster's name so much because I always want to say Dagarla. That's my how I call. Dagarla. I, I, I just say Dagarla. Um, in any case, Dagarla never used its barum. Like it made mention, but it never uh, in this match at least there was never any use, which I think might have really turned the tides against Sky again, Honestly, mm -hmm, if it right. would have used the the barum cannons. Right, right. I mean, like sometimes. Oh, that's me. Oh, right, right. Like, sometimes you don't have to use every weapon at your disposal, but for Dagara, I feel like his barums are kind of prominent with the character, so I think that really would have helped to turn, you know, turn the tides against Gigan. But, hey, you know, teach their own. Yeah, it's just the fact that, um, I don't know, it's like, uh, what's his name? Destroy and not breaking down, like using his microscopic forms. Like Dagarla was made to create barums, mm -hmm, right, so right. it just feels like it, he's it's not, being, as, not being it's, utilized it, it, it to seems his like it's, degree. Yeah, like if he didn't use like the tornado power or something of that nature, it's like okay, that makes sense. He's not in the water, okay, mm -hmm. but eh, he kind of makes barums. Uh, he kind of used them in the first shot against Mothra. Uh, kind of feels misplaced. But in any case, mm -hmm. no, it's it, this is still a pretty good match, and um, yeah, we don't have Gigan show this time, so that's a nice improvement. Right, right. I thought it was Gigan show at the way beginning, but now now I realized it was talking about Dagara, so I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought the match was nicely done. Not 
I mean, nothing special, but it was an enjoyable one. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Again, it's all still part of the, uh, it's all part of the establishing building blocks for what would eventually become the KWC, or, you know, it's it's starting point. So, yeah. I don't know why. I always like this one's banner for some reason. I don't know. Am I the only one? <laughs> Dagara always uh, kind of looked out of place for me. Yeah, you know? I know. It's yeah. kind of weird. It's kind of weird because it's like, yeah, Dagara's out of place, but for whatever reason, I like it that way. <laughs> um, I, I mean, Dagara... I mean, looks right. I mean, they both are... Like, whoever the banner was definitely, like, pixelated both monsters. Not as well as the background, mind you. Mm. But did well enough, I suppose, uh, because, uh, I mean, they kind of had to match that 70s style. Kind of like your uh, Black Moth, in a way. Mm. Oh, dear God! What? What the hell? Get down! Jesus Christ! Oh, your cat? Uh, yeah, my brother got a cat, and, uh, its name is Tally. And currently the thing lunged, I, sh- I kid you not, lunged from the floor to the back of my chair, which I should note is like four and a half feet off the ground. Oh my gosh! Wait, your brother named it Tally after Mass Effect? Uh, he did. Nice. He just wanted to say hi. Oh, and by the way, if they're wondering why you named your cat after the, uh, terrorist organization... I didn't name it after the Taliban. <laughs> yeah, Mass Effect. Uh, Just go along with it. It's a joke I've been running through. The closest reference they have is Tally from Mass Effect. That, that, that was actually their first guess. I just yeah, made it up. there you go. <laughs> also, it looks like Whip Degara looks like he literally flown it. He, he it looks like he literally flown into the banner like he did in the match. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, here, that was an awesome match read. Uh, I Minus my, the interruptions and, uh, you know, Mystery Science Theater, like, stoppings. Good job there, guys. Right. Uh, well, that's kind what of we're kind of doing. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing we're kind of doing. So, yeah, I kind of forgot to mention hey. that to you. So. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for cluing me in on match 17. Right, but, right. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, that, also, uh, that some... was... <clears throat> That was Gigan versus Dagara, and we will see you guys next time for match 18. Until then. Bye, Zs. <laughs>